What up, what up, YouTube family, kings and queens of the earth, back with another one, chilling in the beautiful Mariana, Florida. You know, it's always nice when you hit the sunshiny state, you know? Feels good. Yeah, get the image. Oh, gotta get the focus. Seemed like it was a little blurry. But anyway, we're we with another one here, you know? Team Night, you know? How we do things here at Night Transportation. Always looking for the best drivers. And drivers that's brand new to this industry. Because easy will contact my recruiter to get more information on the process of becoming a truck driver. More than just a job. You know what I mean? But again, we're in the beautiful Florida. Nice and sunny state. About to head out to um, Jacksonville, Florida. So I'm here shut down since this morning. You know, I got an appointment for... Tomorrow at 515 at the Walmart in McClanny, you know 515 drop there and around probably 9 o'clock 10 o'clock empty out in um, Jacksonville so again, we're back again with a, another video for you excited Brothers and sisters that's looking to come in this industry and want to know more about truck driving And uh, the benefits and the downside of a truck, you know again I for me, it's all benefits because I'm more of, uh, I always got to be moving. So, you know, with truck driving, you're always moving. You're always going to different states. So, for me, that's growth. You know, you, you, you're in contacting with different individuals of how they perceive life. So, one can only learn from that, you know. So, for me, it's a beautiful, rewarding situation to even be driving the whole United States Seems like I'm on vacation, you know, I get to see all these places and, and learn and see how people operate and you know, also people get to see me and learn and see what else is out there other than their regular day life and the regular day, day people that they see. But you want to come out here, again, I would say for your first timers, don't come out here with a lot of stuff, especially coming on a trainer's truck. You got to think about this individual that has his stuff already there. So, you know, you want to come out here pretty light, you know. Little duffel bag. You know, minimum five pants, five shirts, you know. And nothing more than that. Cl clothes that can last you a week. And, you know, the beautiful thing I like about night transportation, along every route or drop that we have to do, there's a terminal. So, you don't necessarily have to sleep in a truck stop or take a shower at a truck stop. You could do it right there at a night base, man. Night terminal, you know, this. Again, one of the perks that I enjoy about night, you know, all our runs is always passing through a terminal so we can stop. And like, I'm an individual, I eat mostly raw food. So it's kind of nice to get out of the truck and kind of prepare my meals in their driver's lounge where I got a bigger sink to work with. I got a bigger cutting board space and all that stuff, you know, or I could juice my fruits or my vegetables because I could put my juicer right on that, you know, because, you know, in the truck, it's kind of small, you know, to do all of that stuff, you know, and, and remember, I'm still in a old truck, so I don't really got a refrigerator as yet. I don't got an inverter as yet. So, you know, those things kind of, to me, is inconvenient to kind of set up because right now I got to do them in a truck stop. Either when I take a shower, I got to juice my vegetable, juice my fruits. Uh, you know, all those things. So sometimes it's kind of inconvenient to do that, you know. And then sometimes when I do it inside most of those truck stop, I got the machine going. People's probably watching TV. They're like, oh, man, this guy just come and ruin my day with his noisy-ass machine and this and that. So it's kind of nice pulling up at night, transportation, dropping all my display, bring out my bag of goodies and do my stuff right there. But, again, that's my perk I love about night. You're always along the roadway with a night transportation terminal again keep it light with the duffel bag remember you know it's in space the trainer's space you know you're gonna have some trainers that's welcoming and you're gonna have trainers that's not welcoming it's for you to make the best situation because remember you're coming to learn something from somebody that has been doing it for a while so you want to be kind of attentive to what they got to say ask them certain question and kind of keep it based on you trying to learn what he has to show you. 
you know, it's not really there for a conversation or what his viewpoint is of the world or what he's about. Just remember, you're there to soak up the knowledge from this person. So the best you could do is pay attention, be about learning, don't get distracted by what you got going on, your family, your friends talking on the phone or whatever you might choose to do. Always keep an ear and an eye open to what's going on in the trainer's day. Because remember, you're trying to learn from this person. So you want to absorb as much as what they do day to day. Now, if they got bad habits now, you know, for those individuals that you know you know when a bad habit is there. You might not want to you might want to overlook that. You don't have to confront them and make them feel a certain way. Just okay, that's what he does. Fine. Okay, you do what you do. But observe, be a sponge of, from this person that's training you because they've been doing it for a while. And if you could listen and absorb what they've done for the past couple of years or whatever experience they have in the field, absorb it, take it. it don't take it for granted. Every moment you get up, be play a pay close attention to what they got to offer you. You know, so come out here very light, pack light, you know, and again, you know, make sure you take care of home so you don't have to really worry about home when you come out here in this truck. You want to be focused on getting that knowledge and learning so when you go back home, you see the family, but take care of business at home, your finances, all your worries that you might think you might be missing there. Tie those things up. Get them out of your mind for when you go on the road. Because when you go on the road, you got to be out here on the road. You can't be out here on the road and back home at, at the same time. It's not going to work. Back home is for when you park that truck and you're going home. Then you enjoy home. But when you are here on the road, you're responsible. You're responsible for all what's on the road. So, you know, like I said, just getting to you, my family, my friends. And yeah, I did officially start that Facebook page. King God Almighty is up and running. You can, like I say, email me, man. You know, I, I like spirituality. I like defending my divinity. I like to defend my faith, you know, because this is the true one faith, you know. This is the faith will open up doors for any individual that want to become the light, you know, because to be in the image of God is a light that shines bright. You know, many look at it like, ah, oh, they don't really understand it, but I totally get it. That's why I'm able to live this light and shine this light. You already know it's the true and living king. Let the world know. Share, like, subscribe. Giving you the inside looks of the trucking every day and how to mentally prepare yourself for being out here. Safety first. Pre-trip your truck. Yeah. Really, pre-trip your truck. It's the best thing you could do. Be safe out here. Love you. Stand strong. In unity. It's the king of the road.